Okay, part two. Let's try to take this two again. Um, long for that video. So I'm hoping this one works this time. So I'm gonna go over the strategy I've been doing for the last like two weeks or so. Um, I have not played much, about maybe 36 hours in the last two weeks, give or take, since I sold off the other build. And pretty much I'm gonna go over the strategy I've been doing. It's pretty much a mix of good old Legion Expedition farming. Since when I did the last one, I did uh, just Le uh, Expedition and I like it because I always do Expedition on League Start. And this time I want to try doing Legion with a build that can actually do Legion. And this is the one that Pastron did. I don't know if Pastron is the one who made the build that someone else did. I had guild people playing this also who told me about the build. So it's pretty much the Scourge of Menace uh, totem build. It works very well. It does, um, even with like 4k life, you still can take a lot of hits because of Progenesis Flask plus the uh, fact that your flasks never run out. They're pretty much infinite usage. And pretty much your life flask also is always up. The minute it goes off, you tap it again and it stays up forever. So you pretty much have permanent flask time with this build with increased effects on it. Uh, pretty much, you know, the build works very well. I ran about 80 maps now. This uh, After I run the last one, about 80. So I'm just waiting on this one. And I've been doing it on cemetery maps because I wanted to change out the strategy a little bit. Barrel Chamber I know is very good. Um, to follow, you know, the, the usual Apothecary farming maps are good, but not with Legion. But pretty much I wanted... Barrel Chambers I thought about doing, but I want to do cemetery because it's been a long time since I've done cemetery farming. And pretty much... If you want to, like, this is more of a budget version. You know, I would say for doing this, just do Legion, Rusted Legion, Rust and Polish Expedition as the only two Scarabs. If you want to take advantage of the um, the Nico one, you can run a Rusted Nico also. But I don't think the Rusted Reliquary and Rusted Divination are worth it if you're not magic finding. So for Scarabs, or Sextants, I mean, I've been doing, um, your maps contain 100% increase, um, more runic markers, maps contain Nico because of a note I'm using, and then additional legion. To be honest, additional legion and the runic are probably the only two you want to use. You can usually just use a legion if you want to. But pretty much what I'm doing, the, le the Nico is just for these two points here. I wanted to try it out on the second 40 maps I ran. It's not the best. I would say if you're doing a, um, a straight like bow build or not non totem build, I think this is really strong. A totem build, not the best. But the first 40 maps I ran, I ran with Corrupted Gaze. I don't, to be honest, Corrupted Gaze, I don't think it's the best. It's doable, but the odds of hitting something that's actually worth money is really small. And this does work on all your Legion boxes that drop um, any Abyssal Jewels. So after I ran the first 40, I didn't really like this that much, so I took it off. And that's why I went with the Nico strategy down here to try it out. Two points here and two points there. Just to try something different. If I was going to run another 40 maps or more, I would honestly drop the Nico points probably and the Delirium points up here. And then take the one point here and the other points, throw it somewhere else. I mean, but Delirium's okay, but it's not the best, I feel. And I'm taking... Um, I'm doing XR because I prefer the red one over the Gamble blue one. If you want to run blue... You just take away all this up here, take away this here, and you get a lot more points back. It's just personal problem. Like, you know, you switch this wheel to here, switch to this line right there, and you can just easily drop, you know, all these points, all these points. But it's personal preference up to you for red or blue. I do red because of the uh, bubblegum currency that comes in, and it's, I know, steady income. The chaos orbs and all that do sell very fast. So I like it. Uh, pretty much, it's all the expedition stuff and all the legion stuff on the outlaw tree. You know, you're replying them with the one, um, the one explosive. All the explosives come out with less life, so they die faster to get your map quicker. It's pretty common, you know, uh, seventh gateway for legion. Um, I would recommend this is really good because getting the chance of the uh, splinters dropping his full emblems is actually a lot, a really high chance. About every map, you should get at least one or two uh, emblems. And the emblems sell very good. Um, fragment, fragment, fragment. There you are. So, this is a probably... I sold most of my emblems already. This is from the last, like, 
X amount of maps I ran. And they sell pretty good in bulk. Like these are easy 10 chaos each, 20 chaos, and about one to four for divines. And people whisper you very fast for these and buy them off of you. So this is real easy money with Legion. I'm surprised. I thought they'd be worth nothing this league with how many people are doing Legion, but for some reason they're worth money. Um, and like the other stuff too, like you're gonna get a lot of fossils. A lot of them are trash, but like you get the four socket resonators. I'm trying to think what else to show off. Um, like your map sustain is gonna be very well done. Like Legion drops a lot of maps. So I'm getting a lot of cemetery and I got a lot of tropical islands. I've already sold a full stash tab of these both already. Um, like currency, it's very random what you're gonna get from this. Like you're gonna get a lot of chaos orbs, a lot of GCPs because of the divination card, a lot of regrets. Um, it depends on your loot filter also. A lot of my stuff's blocked off now. Like a lot of vow orbs, regrets, scourings, aura makings because of red. And then also, before I show the map showcase, um, this is pretty much all from the 80 maps I ran, and also doing um, Danig. But pretty much like this is all Knights of the Sun, and this is all um, Tujin, Black Scythe. So like I'm gonna TFT bulk sell these after I'm done with all the last map I have to run after this um, video too. But also if you'd like to um, use them, use Tujin and Danig, and if you wanna gamble on this one too, go for it. If not, just sell the reroll currencies off. I made a lot of money on uh, Tujin, like I always do. That's why I like doing it. And then also you get a lot of incubators. Um, pretty much, I, my prioritize is divination, or divine ones go first, and then I go into currency, because I've gotten a lot of divine orbs off of this. After that, probably scarabs or something. It's whatever. There's no point using the six socket ones anymore. And that's pretty much it with that. So the actual strategy is pretty much just Legion map device. I'm taking red, and then the one rusted, uh, rusted reliquary, rusted div, polished expedition, and rusted legion. And I'm doing cemetery. These are just pretty much chiseled, and then um, out to anything I can run. That's pretty much all I'm doing with this. It's not min maxing or anything like that. And there's pretty much no strategy. This is pretty much like a, a whatever. Like if I get the um, the mirror, I'll hit the mirror. Don't get it, you don't get it. But pretty much your flash, I hit them all, and that's pretty much uptime permanent. Um, so in here, I know about the triangle strategy, but I'm not that good at it, and I just go with whatever. So this is probably the middle I'm in right now. And I still have not seen the trio boss for some reason. So like I know about the um, like you want to get a couple thousand wisps while doing this. I'm not really doing that strategy too much. Um, yeah, sure, why not? But yeah, I don't have a strategy when it comes to doing this. Like I know you can make a lot more money if you do it the correct way, with trying to get the most out of this. But my average is like probably around two thousand wisps per map. So we're at the top, oh, we failed. This is the top of the map up here. But you can see like, there's no strategy comes to this. I don't really not doing this to mid-max. And the only thing I'm looking for, I'm making sure that we don't have meteors take damage over time in the flask one. The flask one's automatic brick for the build. Then when it comes to Gwen, I'm pretty much just coming here, throw it down, checking to make sure I don't see chaos, and I just hit it. I'm not mid-maxing these whatsoever. And I think I've gotten a lot of law books by doing this too.
I've gotten a bunch of maps that had like two law books in it, and a bunch of maps that had none. So it's pretty much just random. Like I personally think doing the other way is better, where you have like four, five or six explosives, but it takes longer to run them all. And if I ever see the boss early on, I'll run to him and kill him. If not, I just go get him whenever. We found the boss already, so we're gonna kill him after this. I don't know who's even left. But yeah, you're gonna see a lot of Union cards if you use um, Divination. And probably the most useless um, mob. So we kill the boss real fast so we don't get any altars for him. Always make sure also your flasks are up and the boss is dead. So like, yeah, I don't pretty much have a strategy. Like this is pretty much all I do. I just run around. I know you can definitely min-max this a whole lot better. But that's why I'm gonna say that Delirium is mediocre. Because you're not gonna get much jelly orbs out of this. I just loot on the way because I'm just too lazy to come back and get it. So without Headhunter, if you had Hunter on, then yeah, it's a little different strategy you gotta do, but without it, you just do whatever. Like normally I put I would have incubators on at all times, but since I'm about to re-roll after this video, I do not need to. Like there's a, there's one emblem right there. That's 20 chaos. And with doing this strategy also, I would recommend hiding your um hiding all the one splint the single splinters. If a single splinter drops, there's no point to pick it up. It's just technically a waste of time. Like for me, I have all my single splinters on everything hidden, and I just pick up the two plus. There's no point in clicking on the singles. Um, it doesn't matter. Like if there wasn't that flask one, then I wouldn't uh, read them as often. But I break too many maps enough because of the flask one. But it's hard to say truly how much money I made from doing this because I've been selling stuff, buying stuff during it. And I really didn't sit there and do the whole like um, project site thing I normally do on my videos. Just because I knew it was going to take me a long time this week to run a lot of the stuff compared to normal. So that's why I skipped doing the project stuff to see actually how much money we made. But I probably made a decent amount of money in about the, 30, in the, the amount of time. It took me like three days to level this character and gear in general. But, like, each map, I would say average time is about 8 to 10 minutes, depending on how fast you go. I go. Trades and all that kind of stuff. So, I say, like, 8 to 10 is the average number. So, like, is this the best money maker? No. Is this a good, fun, like, budget version to not, like, do magic fine this league like everyone else is? Yeah. And my next, like, I, the next thing I plan on doing, I'll probably make it an actual project. Not magic fine, um, bossing type thing. Fear farming, it's like I want to try to do that kind of stuff. Another emblem dropped. Sadly, it's both two shitty emblems. 
But yeah, the maps take a long time also be mainly because of Legion. Not a Legion. Last oh. Oh, we're dead. Poison, probably. And also, doing this, you get a lot of stack decks. So you can always bulk sell them, you can open them. Personal preference, up to you. I've been opening all of them to throw because it's a lot of fun to do. Actually, we're done with the map almost. Let me just go. Let's go movement speed now. And like pretty much, I've used this to farm up headhunter because I can technically go by headhunter after this. Uh, after I'm done with this, if I want to. But I'm probably gonna go by mage blood instead. Because the next build I think works better with Mage Blood. Because I want to do some fear farming. And Headhunter is not a fear belt. But yeah, that's pretty much the whole map. Map's pretty much done. And of course, not a single card. But yeah, like the maps don't take long if you don't correct, but I just wanted to show the last one I ran. So that was number 80 actually. And it's like, you know, these are all extra incubators still need to open. I think there's some still on my build. I got one I don't care about. But yeah, like I've seen the end boss of this guy, whatever he's called, the, um, the stronghold something, something. I've seen it a couple times. Um, Drop suck, but it's completely random. This league, if like what you do, what the best is, um, like you get random 21 20 jewels that drop from Legion, which is really nice. Um, a lot of fracture bases from Legion. It's like Legion overall, I know, is a, it's, I would say, is an extremely good money maker, probably one of the top ones in the game. If you want to make good money, just do budget Legion farming, you'll get. You run 40 maps of Legion farming, taking Legion map device, Legion's uh, Scarab, Legion Sextant. You'll make so much money back, you'll be swimming in money. But, like, so what I'm going to do now is open all these up, sell everything off. Uh, probably, I might go on TFT and just bulk sell all my tabs off. And then from there, figure out what I want to do. But I think bossing is going to be the next thing I go with. But that's pretty much it. I just want to show the strategy I've been doing for the last, like, two weeks now. But I'm gonna sell this off. I'm gonna I'll make a build guide about the build I'm playing. Even though Pastron has the build guide already up, but I'll make one for real fast for this build. And then I'm gonna dump the build, and then we'll move on to the next one. And I'm hoping I get videos out a little bit more than once every two weeks. I just been really busy with work, and I had almost no time. I have like an hour a day to play right now. But we'll see where it goes. But hope you liked the video. Hope to see everyone on the next one. Goodbye, everyone.